Hey you guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect. Uh, we've got a shakedown going on, and also uh, all the prisoners are contained to their cells because, well, yeah, the the last riot was kind of a bit of an issue. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know the cause of it. One is obviously the gangs are really close together. If I take a look at the uh, intelligence screen. Gangs are kind of starting to control the place. And now that the blue leader is here, now that we got Scott Gordon here, um, it's that damn mayor, <laughs> uh, he's able to organize his guys and uh, cause a lot of trouble, even more trouble than before. Because before it was like, yeah, we're in the same gang and that's fine. But now they're organized. And so there's going to be problems in that way. I think the other problem is because I just don't have enough guards. I've, I've got uh, about three prisoners per guard right now. And um, I've, I, went and hired, I went ahead and just hired two more before starting recording. And I put them in maximum security. We have the riot police stationed throughout the prison right now. Just to kind of help keep the peace for a bit. Uh, that is going to suppress everyone probably. Uh, 55 are just suppressed. That's fine. Uh, there will be more. There are 59 prisoners currently shackled in their cells or in solitary. So, like, a lot of people are shackled, and these these guys are some of them, too. You know? So, we've got these paramedics here. They're helping to heal as many people as they can. I don't know why the paramedic isn't going and getting this guy. I thought the paramedic would go and get them, but apparently not. Uh, yeah, and we have people unconscious, and, like, just... It was a really bad riot. <laughs> Just say it. Really bad riot. I am actually kind of impressed that uh, I didn't get a phone call and then have to like worry about legal problems. I'm actually kind of impressed that didn't happen. It may still happen. It may still happen. Um, how do I find out? Yeah, prison grading. Okay. Uh, how many prisoners? Yeah, deaths. Yeah, 12 deaths now total. So... We have a negative three rating in health. We need to get that up. One security, we need to get that up. Reform, we need to get that up. And punishment, we should probably get that up too. I think we should probably get everything up. So I'm going to have to rethink how I want to... Yeah, look at this guy. He's injured. I need the doctors to go out and do something. But they can't bring anyone. I don't know why they're not bringing anyone in. Why does he have to go... Wait, why does she? Why is he going all the way around instead of going right to him? Like this is open. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. What's going on over here? Oh, these are these are cells that aren't done yet. Okay. Yeah, these just need water hookups and stuff. So. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do on this, guys. It's uh, it's not good yet. If you take a look at needs. Everyone's in lockdown right now. Uh, I probably should let them out so they can eat. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them out so that they can eat. Um, but we do have riot police around, and clothing is a big need right now. There's clothing as a need, and uh, uh, what's the other need? It's 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 safety. They don't feel safe because there's so many deaths right now. A lot of people are concerned about their safety. 123 prisoners desperately want their safety need filled. Uh, so I need to I need to increase the security around the prison. I need more guards. I need more patrols. Um, because I, I just don't have enough. I, I just don't have enough. So, but that, the money problem is the reason why I don't have enough. If we take a look at daily cash flow. Um, you know, we're getting hit by interest pretty bad. All right. So they're going to, they're going to get in here to the laundry and this is good for their needs. They're, they're, one of their needs is clothing, right? Clothing. I think it's the big need, uh, needs safety and clothing are two pretty con big concerns right now. Warmth need isn't that big right now. There's a lot of people that have to pee and whatever, but I had them locked in their cells, so that's fine. Uh, and they should be getting on with this. They should be getting going with laundry. Ah. 
Are we going to have another another riot? There we go. These guys are really upset. But it's like, you have clothing. You're just not... Like, that's doing laundry right now. Yeah. Look at these guys. These guys are like, we want clothes, we want clothes. And the reason why their clothes are so bad all the time, like, all the time, is because of the weather. This outdoor prison idea with weather is really, really making this difficult. I totally underestimated just how difficult weather is if I wanted to do this outdoor prison idea. I think as soon as I have money, we're still, we're not making this much per day. This is, this is not accurate. Um, I had a huge export, uh, like $5,000 worth of stuff exported. So this is not accurate. But once I have money, you know, once I have money, let's put, let's put one of these riot police in here just to help keep the peace. I don't know how long I'm going to keep the riot guard. But I do know that I, I want them in here to keep the peace. I, I need security for sure. I'm gonna put this guy over here. Uh, yeah, that's probably good. I think I'm gonna need more solitary cells too because uh, how many people are waiting solitary? Whoa, did that say what I think it said? Okay, no, it didn't. It's I thought it says I thought it said we had a supermax, and I was just gonna get upset. Let's end the shakedown. That might free up some guards. Uh, cash flow, we made some repairs. Okay, so how is the temperature looking? Still high. These guys are so mad about their clothes. Clothing, spirituality, comfort. Are there no benches? Hold on, I don't have any benches. No, there's benches right here. You guys can just sit here and get comfortable. I mean, the benches aren't the most comfortable thing in the world, but then, I mean, go to bed. And then, I don't know what's going on over here. These guys have just tons of needs because they're just, I don't know if they're glitched or what. Uh, this guy is, yeah, like, we need, we need this prioritized. Here we go. They're starting to get him now. I didn't have any guards available. I need to, I need to free up some guards. Let's, let's, can I have another guard? There we go. Another guard. I probably should have about a hundred guards for what I have, and but the thing is, it's like as soon as long as we're still in debt, I can't afford no, I can't afford more guards. So I'm kind of thinking in hindsight, and maybe a lot of people knew this already when they saw me do it. Um, I'm, I'm thinking in hindsight, I took too much for a loan. I expanded too quickly because like look at all this stuff. Like I'm not even using this stuff, and I spent like thousands of dollars building these buildings, and I didn't. I, I'm not using them yet. So that was not a good spending for money. Um, the staff room is a staff room, sure, but it's not fulfilling the purpose I want it to fulfill yet, which is, I don't have the I don't have the funds to do it yet. So, uh, and then there's this giant building here. I think this was like what maybe nine grand to build foundation for and stuff. All these like cells right here that I I couldn't I shouldn't have built yet. I would have a lot more money available for more security, and I wasn't valuing security very well. So now I need to value security. I really need to start taking this seriously because gangs are no joke, you know? Gangs are no joke. I thought maybe I could get away with like a little bit more time. Maybe it would take time for the gangs to start, you know, kicking off and doing what they want to do, but uh, it doesn't. It doesn't take very much time at all. Canteen looks like it's pretty warm, 77 in here. So that should take care of their warmth need pretty quick. I would think the warmth need is, they're just gonna hang out in here, I think. Most of them are. because. Well, one, it's eat time right now, but also, it, even when it's free time, they'll probably hang out near here. Lockup is coming up then. Free time is going on with normal security right now, so I'm going to go and check in on that. Before I do that, though, let's put some of the riot police in here. Just to make sure nobody does anything. Uh, free time is looking okay. Let's take the riot guard put him over here. Uh, let's take another riot guard. He's watching television, okay. Take another riot guard and put him like not in the cell, but like over here. And I think this should I'm hoping this will take the temperature down. I want the temperature to drop and then I can get rid of the riot guard, because the riot guard's costing me money too, I think. Let's 
Let's get another one over here. I don't, I don't trust these guys. They're because they're just so angry from food, uh, for clothing. And I don't have enough washing machines. Ugh. I need like to fill this room. How many people are working here? <laughs> well, nobody right now, but like everyone should be working here. Should I do like a quick work time after this? Let's do work lockup. Ah, I like this work lockup. That's good. And you know what? Their sleep need isn't that big of a deal. So I'm going to do two hours of work lockup. And then so anyone who's working, um, if, if you're working, get in the laundry. If you're not working, get in your cell. I like that idea much better. Actually, I think I'm going to do that for some of these other things too. So how about like probably here uh, and here. There's going to be a work lockup stage for everyone. Right before eat, I like this 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 dual, uh, this dual whatever you call it regime, very cool. Let's get this door open. Oh, good. There's a guard there to do it. Let's have these riot police follow them through to where they're gonna be, and I'm gonna put one in the in the laundry too because that's where people are gonna be working. There we go. Get your work done, people. Oh, man. These guys are starting to get taken care of now. That's good. They've been locked up in here for a while. They started fighting in the infirmary. Which, we kind of need a metal detector on the infirmary, too. Because there's metals and needles and things like that. So, uh, here's Scott Gordon. Troublemaker extraordinaire. This is the gang leader for the blue gang. He's in here for 63 years. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. There's no rehabilitation for him. The gang leaders usually don't do anything. They usually stay out of trouble and they don't do anything. But Blue is going to be really upset because uh, he's going to be in solitary for 11 hours. And that's going to make the Blue gang really upset to have their leader in solitary. Yeah, clothing need. I know. He has a fork. Search him. Let's make that a priority. Let's go. Prioritize that. Why don't you just search that guy? He's got a fork in his hand. I just saw it. Uh, what else? Yeah, how did they get out without metal detectors? And they, they can't get out of the kitchen. Or they can't get out of here without going through a metal detector. So I'm not sure how he got the fork out, but he did. I'm really down on guards. I need guards so bad. Well, it's just a matter of time. So I'm going to speed it up, let this play out a little bit. T temperature's still high. I don't think I need the paramedics anymore so I can get rid of those guys. They can go home. Uh, where's the paramedic truck? Oh, are they just going to walk away? Okay. All right, so these guys are going to go to sleep now, I think. All right, sleep time for you guys. Uh, yep, and there's some fighting over there. There is a riot guard, like, right in his room, though, so that's good. Still danger high. Ten gang members are furious, their leader being punished. Yeah. Well, I would stop the punishment on the gang leader. I would. I just don't know how. It doesn't tell me how to do that. Let's pause it. Let's go to inf intelligence and informants. And that's not Gordon. That's not Gordon. Hmm. If these are potentials, but I really need to know if there's, I also need to know if there's any like snitches or anything around here too. There is a snitch. Uh, there is a, a maximum security gang member snitch. And I think I actually brought him into, yeah, I brought him into, um, into protective custody. Thankfully he hasn't done anything. I don't know if, I don't know if, um, protective custody people, like, I don't know if they ever cause trouble. I don't know. I guess if they're a murderer, but they're also a snitch, do I protect them? I don't, I don't know. 
Um, probably can get rid of the riot police. Oh, that might be a false alarm. But it could also be coming from here. Can I search the cell? Search that cell, see if you find anything. There's so much stuff to sell here. Like, look at all this stuff I can export. This is sheet metal. This, this is, uh, uh, no, that's sheet metal. How do I get to license plates? There we go. So the license plates I can sell. And I'm gonna grab another guard. I'm, j I'm seriously just gonna grab guards until I have maybe 60, let's do 60. I don't know, it's not that many more, but it does make him available and there's, it might free up a couple of them. See, this little um, this little indicator up here, I know I'm kind of unorganized this episode. It's, it's the nature of just trying to get as much like done as I can before people come. Um, this, uh, this counter up here shows me how many guards are available. So if everyone has a task that they're currently doing, you'll see a zero here, which means everyone is busy or everyone is stationed or everyone is fighting or whatever. And as a result, like they'll end up being more tired because like they can't rest as much. Like right now we have two resting and that's good. But I mean, there's with as many guards as we have, I would think there'd be more resting at a time. I do have staff rooms fairly well spaced out. So like they can, and they can access a staff room uh, pretty easily. There's this one in the middle. I don't think I have another one up here. I think I need another one up here. The library, this is going to be, a, this was going to be a shop, but I think I'm going to turn that into a staff room now. Um, and this is going to be a shop. So I, this, this can be the shop and that's fine. We'll have a staff room over here for them. Oh man. Okay. Well, uh, it's a new day, still dangerous. Gang members are furious. Their gang leader is, their leader is being punished right now uh, because he killed someone. I mean, he killed like two people. He didn't kill other gang members, but he killed like two people. Dogs finding tunnels. Did you find anything over here? No, it's just a false flag. Yeah, it's, that's false. Okay, that's fine. Uh, cash flows. Okay, well, I'm going to let this play on for a bit, and uh, I guess I'll be back. These guys are in parole hearings. Can I get some money? How, what's your chances of success here? 28%. Let's pause this really quick. <clears throat> this guy has a 28% chance of reoffending. He's got a 9 reform score, which is good. He also passed 4 programs, which is a really good thing. Um... He spent 18% of his stay working, which is good. The longer they work, the more reformed they could be. His parole hearing is getting close to done. And uh, he's only served half his sentence, so that's a pretty good early release. But like during his stay, he's destroyed property, he's tried to escape, he's attacked the staff, and we found weapons and drugs on him. He's not completely reformed, but it does say he's only got a 28% chance of reoffending. And he was 44% when he came here, so I'm doing good there. What's the threshold? This is 28%, right? Uh, how do I find the threshold for... I think it's in policy. Yeah, 29% is the cutoff. So with a 28% chance to reoffend, he should make parole. He should make parole. What about you? Six years, okay, he's served most of his sentence. And he has a 58% chance. Now it's going down, he had a 74 when he ca when he came here. So it's going down. Uh, we could get him to pass some programs, see if he's interested in any of those. But he won't make parole, so there's a chance that this, there's a chance that somebody, this guy might get upset. Let's see about this one. Uh, 28%, so he might make parole. He spent a good amount of his time. Oh, is this the one I already looked at? I thought it was this one. Hang on, let's look at this one instead. Yeah, yeah, 2% chance. This guy is definitely, definitely going to make parole. So the only one I need to worry about attacking is um, up here. It's the only guy I need to worry about attacking. Um, uh, so I'm going to have a guard in that room. Just in case, I'm gonna put a guard in that room. Now, one thing I overlooked, and I really shouldn't have, but I did, is parole for the maximum security people. 
I don't have a parole room for them, which is a really bad thing. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mend some of my plans. And I'm going to make some parole offices right along this row here. So like right along this area, there's going to be some parole offices. And we can have people who are going to like oversee that. They can come this way. And they'll have a, a, a way to get in right here. They don't have to come in this area. They can come in right through here and get to the parole. Um, because we have these little checkpoints. Uh, you remember I might, you may have remember I set these up. These are staff only checkpoints. So I have, let's go to deployment. This is, this is all segregated here. All this, this whole area is nothing but maximum security. Uh, but there's nothing that stops maximum security from getting into the population. Like this says maximum security only, but this is public because there's low, there's minimums in here too. And there's protective custodies that need to use these facilities. So there's nothing that stops maximum from getting up here. So what I need to do is I create these little checkpoint areas, these little airlocks, if you will. So there's a door here and a door here. And in between that door, it's staff only with, with a guard in there. And that makes it to so where the, the, the prisoners can't get out through here because they'd have to go through a staff only area in order to get there. Same thing with this door here, this little hallway here, as well as this little choke point here. So because these are public, um, you know, they can, these, these, these public areas, they can use them, but they can't get to them. And that's, that's, that's the great thing is they can't get to them. Uh, this forestry should probably be staff or probably should be that. Uh, let's let it run. More tunnels. Oh, we're finding the start of a tunnel in here. I'm still hearing violence. I'm still hearing like, people really getting upset. Um, I really don't know how to solve this problem, guys. I really kind of wish I did, but I, I don't know how to solve this problem. Hmm. I've still got the riot police here. Uh, both medium and minimum security. Not sure why that guy's inside the solitary cell with him, but all right. Scott Gordon is here. Scott Gordon is here. Now, I can't imagine he's eligible to be an informant, but... It's worth a shot. No, it's not. I, can, I think so. Uh, this guy's a potential CI. He's also a gang member. And you know what? Like, why not? Let's grab him. Is there anyone that I need to know about? In order to know that, in order to, to find that out, I need to, I need to get somebody. So let's grab, uh, let's grab Harvey. Let's pull Harvey. Where did Harvey go? He's over here. He's in that cell. So we're going to pull Harvey uh, out of where he is. And we're going to guide him to the security office where he's going to tell us where, what he knows. At least I hope that's what's going to happen. It says he's en route, but nobody's went and got him yet. Kind of hoping I could get this guy, but can't see him. Okay, so there's Paul. There's Harvey. He's being guided by a guard. <clears throat> and we're gonna bring him up to the security office. See if we can figure out some more traits about the gang leader. I want to know. I want to know more information about that gang leader. Speed this up a bit. And, oh God, really? Another riot. What is their need? It's always clothing. They're just not doing laundry. Well, I still got the riot police on standby. So let's bring the riot police in here.
See if they can get this situation under control real quick. More people injured. More people trying to escape. Man, oh man. Oh, what are we going to do about this, guys? Do I need to abandon the outdoor prison idea? The clothing is like... I feel like the clothing is not that big of a need. You know? Like, I feel like clothing is not that big of a need. But safety is. And they don't feel safe, so they, so they make an unsafe situation. I mean... Like, what is this? Every single prisoner is concerned for their safety. Even in prison, your prisoners want to feel safe. If there are lots of fights in your prison or the overall danger level is high, prisoners will feel less safe and may consider arming themselves. If this is becoming a problem, trying increasing the security throughout your prison by hiring more guards. Okay, well, I have money now. Okay, I have money. But the thing is, I really need to pay off the loan so that I can make more money. But I don't have a choice. I have to hire guards. So let's hire a bunch more guards. 65 guards on staff now. And um, let's make sure they're, you know, let's make sure they're stationed here and that they're around and that they're, you know, going to be doing things. Man, oh man. I mean, I've got cash flow now. That's good. But what I don't have is security. I'm thinking that this riot police, I'm thinking I don't need this many. They, this, this situation did get, did get taken care of without a death. Um, oh, here we go. Somebody fighting in here now. Yeah, now that the riot police is gone. Uh, I gotta get rid of this too. This tunnel needs to go. Let's prioritize that. Uh, we're gonna need, this guy's gonna need help. I'm gonna get another guard. I, I just feel like we just need guards to control the situation. How do I get them to do laundry? Do I just not have enough machines? Is that what it is? I mean, these guys are working right now. They're doing clothes, but maybe I just don't have enough machines. You know what it might be? I don't have any guards free. I didn't have any free guards to bring them their clothes. Maybe that's it. Right? Because who has to transport the clothes? Like, prisoner uniform, right? Who goes... Who comes and gets this? Who brings the uniforms to their cells? It's the guards, right? I don't know. Or do other prisoners do it? I can't imagine that's very secure. Yep. Yep, we need more doctors too, I think. Oh, he's so expensive though. This stuff is so expensive. Oh, that's the Kerbal command. Let's speed up time. Oh my gosh. I mean, they're eating, they're, they're having a good time with like recreation stuff, right? They've got work time, they got I almost feel like, like everybody, literally every single person needs better clothes. Holy, all right, well, I might have to just take out another loan just to put freaking laundry machines in here. But I don't even know if that will solve the problem. I have more guards now. Let's get rid of one of these riot police. Let's get rid of these ones. We'll keep these ones around in maximum, just, like, to make sure everyone is, like, suppressed. Because suppressed people, ooh, maybe suppressed people don't work. I know they don't do classes, but th do they not work either? I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is I need more solitary cells. Because, like, these guys are... Uh, yeah. Let's get another door here. And we'll get another wall built here. Uh, 
it's only one more cell, but it's, I mean, I got people waiting solitary right now, probably. Uh, incident report. 20, 19, 39 people. 39 people are awaiting solitary confinement. Oh, problems, man. We're having problems. Having problems. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't build anything this episode. Just really got to deal with clothes. So note to self uh, and to all of you people out there who are thinking of doing outdoorish. Uh, a lot of outdoor areas for them to roam around in and turning on weather at the same time. Um, don't. <laughs> that's, that's the advice. Don't. Uh, but if you do, just keep in mind that like their clothing need is super big. Because clothing affects comfort. Um, I'm, I'm, I assume clothing affects warmth. Maybe it doesn't. This is getting this is getting fulfilled for some people now. Some people are getting fresh clothes right now. So that's good. This is starting to go down. But we need more. We need more laundry done. Safety is still a big concern. It's not maxed out anymore, but it's still a big concern. Bowels, bladder, recreation and you guys aren't going to be able to do any exercise, recreation, none of that. You're not going to be able to do that until you stop fighting each other. So if you want, see, there's two people in solitary here too. Two people locked up in the same solitary cell. Which is not exactly, like that's not a solitary cell. <laughs> if there's another person in there, it's not solitary. But, yeah, whatever. Semantics. All right, well, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Uh, come back for the next one. And I will hopefully have this situation sorted out. Uh, I'm going to let this run a little bit because I need money. I have good, decent cash flow. And I'm going to let it run while I still have decent cash flow. So uh, come back for the next one. And uh, hopefully this will be better. We'll have money. And we'll be able to... Uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, have a functioning prison that doesn't have fights all the time. A safe environment for people to learn and work, and if nothing else, just exist and serve their time. <sighs> I'm going to get some lunch. Take care, guys. Bye.